Ladies and gentlemen of the Shred Gaming Telecom video, let's discuss AMD's Fiji GPU, shall we? This one is a bit of an odd rumour. Sui Cockers have recently posted something that would indicate that the AMD Radeon R9 390X is not Fiji. Instead, Fiji is something entirely different. You can think of t uh, Fiji instead as like a Titan. So, as you know, you can buy the GTX 780 Ti, or eventually the 980 Ti, or the 980, or what have you. But they are completely separate products from the Titan. Now, sometimes the Titan has something very obvious, which is, you know, separating it from the uh, the GTX. So, in for example, the original Titan had considerably higher compute performance. This Titan has considerably more memory and a greater number of CUDA cores. But the R9 390X is a bit unclear. So currently, um, what we know is that the R9 uh, 390X will indeed be very high-end cards. But what's not clarified at the moment is just what is going to be powering them. Now we do know that a lot of information is going to be announced over the next few days. In other words, Computex, that's supposedly when all this stuff is going to be unveiled. But it's a bit strange. Some rumours that I'm hearing is that the R9 390X is going to be effectively kind of Hawaii, maybe Tonga type of architecture. It's going to be refined. It's going to be obviously considerably more powerful than the 290X. We do know that there are going to be some rebrands in the 300 series. For example, the R9 380 is supposedly going to be the R9 290X of now, but with a few shiny differences. For example, additional VRAM and so on. But the odd thing here is that if Fiji is indeed um, a Titan equivalent, what the hell is going to be separating it from the R9 290X, or 390X rather. So it's possible that we could see the situation where the 390X has 8GB of GDDR5 memory, whereas and the Fiji is using high bandwidth memory, or we could have a situation where the Fiji R9, or sorry, the Fiji does have high bandwidth memory, but the 390X also has high bandwidth memory, but maybe different amounts of VRAM. Or it could also be that the um, Fiji is the dual GPU that we keep hearing about, which possibly could even indicate water cooling. Unfortunately, we just don't know yet. It's mighty curious, and I've got to say that I'm really really wanting to know what the hell AMD are going for because originally the dual GPU was of course known as the R9 395X just like the R9 295X bloody hell with these acronyms anyway um, I've got to say I'm hoping that the 390X does feature HBM but then again, if you have a significant amount of uh, memory bandwidth using GDDR5, for example, you're on a 512-bit bus with high enough clocked memory, and you don't have enough shaders to become memory bandwidth constrained, then maybe that's not a problem. At the end of the day, only AMD know themselves, and there is a lot of teasing at the moment, but unfortunately no one knows the blasted specifications. I have spoken to AMD, we do know it's coming out very soon. But they are not saying anything either way, and it is maddening. I bloody well want to know what we have. Um, I'm really hoping for good performance on these cards. Really am. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the relatively short video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.